Thank you, uh, Madam Chair. Madam Chair, allow me to congratulate the minister. He's one of the ministers who takes our calls and who calls us. Thank you, minister. Minister, before I ask you my question, allow me to invite you to the provisions of Article 35 of the Constitution, specifically Article 1A, which gives every Kenyan the right of access to information in the custody of the government. Can you please balance this with our age-old tradition in Parliament where you are free to ask the Speaker to allow you to table that information in camera? I want to invite you. Having done so, allow me to ask you my question. Haiti is 12,119 kilometers away. It takes 13 hours of flying to reach Haiti. And the cheapest flight minister is 220,700 shillings. You have justified our presence in regional missions by attributing it for, need, for, for, for the need for us to be part of securing peace, security, and stability of our regions. Given the statistics I've given you on how far away Haiti is, could you tell us what are the benefits and what are the intended consequences the government hopes to achieve by taking our troops to Haiti? Cabinet Secretary. Madam Speaker, the last question, I think, uh, with a lot of respect to my colleague, when I came to Parliament, I found him in this same chamber. There used to be a library next door. I don't know whether he's still there. Many, many years. <laughs> I want to refer him the last question to the Minister of Interior. So ask, please uh, take time, invite, invite Professor Kindiki, give him the statistics of the distance and how many flights go there and the hours. Uh, uh, that, that is above my, it's not my domain, so I'll refer that to Professor Kindiki. And I'm sure the House has the powers using the standing orders to invite him, even this afternoon. Yes, this, the, 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 this, the second, the first one was, yes, Article 35 of the Constitution allows uh, you to get and provide information, any information, to any citizens. But that article must be interpreted with certain responsibility. And I'm sure if you read the chapter on national, the organs of the National Security Council and even KDF, and you being a very, very seasoned medical doctor, I am sure even sometimes you don't provide your client, your patient data to all and sundry. This is a plenary. And there are certain information which is, the custodian is the National Security Council. Honorable Boni, Senator Boni Khalawale, I cannot share. But if you want me to share, the venue will not even be parliament. The venue will be the defense headquarters because even the room where we want to share, we must take charge of that room. So I will, I will, I will, I will invite you, using the standing orders, to come to defense headquarters. You will be ushered in, and the generals will share with you some of the privileged data. I am sure from where you sit as a majority whip and as a season leader in this country, you also want to protect our country and you want to protect the national security of our, of our country. Thank you. It is up.